So it's the end of the year and we're gonna drain the pool now. The pool has remained, been pretty clear the whole year, so I'm just gonna start draining it and I'll show you that right now. As you can see, our pool remained pretty clear the whole year. Um, there's some dirt in there and I'm gonna vacuum that out as I drain it. I've already drained it a little bit, like you can see here. Uh, because we just had that hurricane storm kind of go through that tropical storm and it kept filling it up i kept having to drain it but we're going to clean it drain it and then store it your pool comes with two of these there's one there there's one over here and these are drain plugs that you hook your hose up to and i'm just gonna like right now, there's just a plug in there, and it's being held down. It's being held down by the water pressure, so now I'm going to poke this through, and it's going to, the water will start coming out, and I'll have to hook the hose up. I'll hook the hose onto here first. That. I have to apologize. Okay, I'm just going to push it in and then I'll start turning this. I'm doing this with one hand so I can get the camera on for you. There comes the water. That's pretty much it. Like, it's on there. Some might drip down. You can see it dripping a little bit. Not much. Look there, it's already coming out. So I'm just gonna bring it back to the back of my yard. Stretch it out a little bit. This is what you don't want. You don't want a kink in your hose because it's not gonna the water won't go past it. Let's have it draining back there. It's gonna be a slow drain, so you don't have to worry about it, like puddling up too much or anything like that. Um, you just let it go. It'll take several hours to drain out. Plus, I'm gonna suck out the pool right here. I'm going to clean it and suck it out. And that's going to be using the pump. I didn't get a chance to vacuum it out, so I kind of lost that opportunity and there's some dirt in there. But as you can see, it's really come down. All I've had is, uh, I've just had it draining out of the hose back there for like the last 24 hours and it's come down. I've lost about at least 2,500 gallons of water out of there. It's just a slow leak so it doesn't like, it's not, doesn't like flood anything. So I'm going to wait till it's all gone and then I'll clean the bottom of this out. Okay, I was, I was kind of lazy this year. So, for the pool, all I did was hooked up a hose to it. And, as you've seen in the last minute, and just let it drain out all by itself. And, I took off the hardware from it, the, the intakes and stuff, and and I just deflated it and I just let it sit. And it's been, 
think this is like the third or third day and it looks like it's gonna rain so I'm hoping that it doesn't so that I can just because the Sun makes it soft and it makes it a lot easier to fold up and everything else so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to pull it over to get like the water out the rest of that water and I'm going to wipe it all down with some towels just to clean it up before we put it away again that's what it looks like whenever you take it off of the, the mat and then this we've kind of cleaned off the inside and dried it all out now we're gonna wipe the outside off and start folding it up yeah it's fine now we did the other side now flip it over and get all all of that off underneath because you can see right here I did some let's see how it comes off pretty easy you just want to clean it up see you can see how it's coming clean over here and, you know get it clean for storage less to do next year now fold it backwards you don't have you always have to have the inside facing out or else you're going to have air pockets. You're never going to get it to roll it up. So you start, so you don't fold it down, you fold it up just like that. It looks the same on both sides. If you, if you had flipped the server, it looks exactly the same. Now we're going to flip it from here over. And you also notice I have those holes on top so the air can get out up here and I have the holes back there open so the air can escape that way too so we flipped it from here over there and it's still exposed like that we're actually gonna do it again and then uh, we can start rolling it up rolling. So, so we folded it one more time it looks like a hat upside down or a pizza and now we'll, we'll tuck this in under here just to protect it like that and now we're gonna walk on it again to get the air out of it now the next thing we do I'm just gonna roll it up and put it on the tarp. So I get the tarp first so that I'm just rolling it. One thing I didn't mention is that I don't have any baby powder or talcum powder. You should put you should put that on it depending on where you're storing it. So if you're storing it, I wouldn't suggest storing it outside. I'd keep it in a normal temperature because if it gets freezing, it will crack. So you definitely need the talcum powder if you do that. But if you if you store it inside you can kind of get away without it check out the other video it has all this stuff in it too so i'm going to get to tarp and then i'm going to roll it up onto the tarp one other thing if it's sunny out and warm it makes it a lot easier to roll and to it's just become so much easier to deal with so if you can do it before it gets real like like today's not a real warm day so but it's supposed to rain i had to get rid of it so yeah, we put the tarp down. It already had talcum powder on it. They probably can't hear me because it's so far away, but that's fine. Um, so that's going to help. But now I'm just going to try to roll this up as tight as I can. And it's not going to be super tight because this is kind of hard, but that's fine. So try to keep it as smooth as possible. You want the least amount of wrinkles as possible. This isn't as tight as I've got it before, that's for sure.
I'm gonna put a strap around it so that it stays together. Be right back. Okay. I have these that I use for my kayak, and I decided I have other ones, so I'm just gonna use these for this. Um, and I'm not gonna use saran wrap this year. I just tighten it up like that. It's it's all good to go. I'll wrap these down under here. I mean, you can do it any way you want, but this is the way I do it. No. I can deadlift it. <clears throat> Actually, it's pretty late. So we have an unfinished bathroom here. Never got around to it, but for the last five years, guess what? That's where we kept the that's where we keep the pool. So you don't need a whole heck of a lot of room. Just uh it's protected. No mice or anything are gonna get it because it's not outside. And it's not gonna freeze. So there he is.